So first of all, a warm welcome and ma- uh, congratulations on magnanimous success on your self-built career. So uh, and it's a huge privilege to talk to you, uh, an alumni of our college. So could you please start by uh, giving a brief introduction of yourself and telling about yourself? Ah, uh, thank you, Asta. Asta, I'm Pratik. Uh, I'm. Uh, I did my biology from CNLU. Uh, uh, I was student of a uh, batch of twenty uh, twelve. It was second batch, and uh, uh, I got. Uh, I joined a uh, quiz. Let I got placed into quiz lists, and then like uh, I joined a uh, Bharti Aksar in large general insurance, and uh, then I entered into an IT industry. in uh, current position i worked there for around 5 and 1/2 years of, uh, as a legal head then i have joined this api group uh, popularly you people know api group as farm is so i'm working here as senior manager legal so which is a huge graph line of 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 uh, so of your career so you have ma- of you have huge amount of diverse uh, experience so could you please tell about the sort of work you do and the in how in house con- council concept uh, uh see like uh, uh, looking for uh, working as an in house council while we were student we didn't had any idea we didn't had any person or mentor who can mentor us so uh, we got the job whatever go- jobs we got we uh, went into i got placed in an lpo but that lpo was not that good so i just went out from that lp within a two within two months i got a job into uh, general insurance bharti aksa i went there i didn't know what kind of work is happening there and and here uh, but whatever opportunities i got i went into in gi sector i worked around uh, three and a half years but the work was mo- kind of monotonous it was litigation supervisory and contract uh, contract management work only we had to take permission for each and everything from uh, a senior leadership regarding any negotiation or uh, uh, taking any unusual step in litigation or anything uh then like uh, while my work was became monotonous i thought ki why should like uh, i was getting promoted in hierarchy i was uh, going to be manager but management was not one of the skills that I, what i wanted to be i wanted to go into legal area only to learn more into legal not into management at that time because at that time i uh, experience was 3 4 years only so i thought okay, let's give it time so i went into an it company in this car info system so when i went into an it company since i was the first person who went uh, like in legal team their legal team so lot of things were there to do so i started from scratch in an it company and i start like uh, after that we built a team and uh, Uh, i got a huge and immense exposure in that it company in kara info systems so in kara info system within two years i learned almost uh, double what i learned in my past professional career yeah. so since then i i became more mature uh, uh, in drafting in negotiation like uh, i uh, got an expertise of end to end legal management of a company i came to know i learned about the how management uh, looks for uh looks towards a legal person and uh, uh what is a what is a thing which a company needs in a legal legal person how to tackle how to take care of the business needs of a company or those uh those areas key areas which are not visible from the eyes of a common man or common uh, employee uh, uh but a legal person knows a uh, uh, person who is uh, taking care of legal activity should and must know those things key these things might come um so so in layman terms how would you define what is the work of a legal in house uh, counsel or uh, legal counsel for that matter uh, a work of in house legal counsel is like if you are if you are joining any company there are two ways you are joining a company as a uh, on a, a specific work assignment like you are joining as a uh, manager contracts or you are joining as legal counsel of the company so if you are jo- if you are if you are joining as a um, as on the complete uh, um, work assignment 
uh, then at that like then for that uh, person for that legal person that area is the niche area where you have to work let's say if you are joining as a legal manager contract so your work is to negotiate draft negotiate and execute the contract uh, and to work on contract life cycle as contract mm-hmm. contract management only but if you are getting hired as a legal counsel so it means you have to look for the end to end legal activities so end when i when we talk about end to end legal activities so it begins with the incorporation of a since incorporation of a company and go until the dissolution of the company mm-hmm. or winding up of the company so in the meanwhile whatever uh, 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 licenses uh, approvals government approvals statutory approvals you need uh, let's say the shops and establishment act uh, licenses so uh, you need uh, you need to work starting from them that to uh, filing of uh, uh, like uh, in some companies where you are uh, where there is no uh, permanent com- company secretary so uh, from uh, uh, starting like uh, from uh, taking the licenses like stp stpi licenses uh, uh, shop and establishment licenses to filing of the annual return to mca portal as well so this is how work diversifies however you know, uh, like uh, uh, around 60% of work of an in house counsel in almost every like uh, including manufacturing it pharma everywhere is related to contract so contract negotiation contract drafting these are the most important areas where person should work okay which which is uh, which requires a huge depth uh, depth and uh, for that we need to explore domains and that would be uh, through internships so how do you uh, suggest that how do does a person a junior gets an internship uh, secured in uh, such sort of coveted place See, uh, the issue with internship is not that uh, uh, college is specifying a specific time. That uh, this is the time where you you go and to apply for internship and or go for internship. But how corporates usually do that if they do need any person, any intern, then at that time they look they would look for an intern. Right. They won't go with the timeline whatever college is providing. Right. so uh, in my view colleges must be flexible ki if a person is while studying while like in between a, a semester also a person can do internship at some organization mm. right now uh, work from home culture is like more pre- predominant at everywhere so companies are giving in terms flexibility to work from home so like mm. uh, for four to five hours they give you an option ki you go to college you study your uh, curriculum and then you join us so this is how it is this is how it is better another way to uh, land up into internships uh, uh, see it's a uh, uh, like it's a dart game you are just throwing darts against the wall and whatever dart would land somewhere or, or anywhere but the best way would be ki if you would give a call or like uh, uh, personally you apply or try to get in connection on linkedin with the people who are already working in a company having some common sense uh, common uh, common things common ideas so those people would will land you into internship very easily uh, let's say our college like uh, from our college uh, six seven batches have went no how many batches completed from cnl uh, so it was the be- be- beginning of the of the line of cnl you were in 2000 uh... 2011 so 10 years yeah 10 years so around 10 10 years been is uh, are there so i know lot of people who are my seniors or my batchmates or my juniors also who got into a good position like uh, now for us the thing says ki if i would ask someone in my company or some other company ki uh, to give internship to someone then that person would not deny it's because internship okay. is not a big thing because people are paying or people are not paying in unpaid internships yes. like uh, this is not a uh, the unpaid internships are, are not good by big thing the only thing is that intern would come and to learn so common connections and through alumni association like people if you do like i i saw many times like on our college website the alumni uh, list is like who is working where it is very obsolete yeah, so if you people yeah. do have recent contacts with those people and like those people would obviously help because it is not 
taking anything away from us only thing okay. we have to make few calls that's it okay so sir what are the qualities or do you think or the uh, sort of points do we require to secure an internship they won't take anyone any random person right so what do you yeah. think uh, does it take Uh, any certificate uh, courses any prior experience for that matter uh but see there are two ways one is ki if, if they are, are taking an interview for internship so in that interview you have to present like uh, present yourself very well and uh, it's like if you know something you tell you don't know something you tell directly ki i'm so sorry i don't have idea about this right now so it would be better otherwise like uh, uh, sounding like giving some answers which you don't know won't make any good another thing where mm-hmm. interviews are not yeah another things where interview is not happening uh, uh, what we see ki how much that person is involved into everyone is doing llb like everyone is doing five years llb if you don't have lot right. of things into your resume let, let's say ki you are in in second year you are involved in, into some devsoc or in third year you are into voting committee or you are doing something uh you are you have joined some ngo or you are working on idea so these things are these are the things which matter because this shows ki a person is multi uh tasker so this person is getting involved into things okay sir thanks a lot and so what are the of course you mentioned about uh, the uh, the significance and the imperatives of uh, debates and the moots that and various mm-hmm. other activities like idea and stuff and which are important you mm-hmm. already mentioned uh so could you just tell what are the major subjects in academic uh, domain like uh, that we need to focus uh, on so that to can to get your interest diverted here see see those things are, uh, our, our college does not teach those things what we need uh, <laughs> but uh, okay let's say uh, see that different areas where you want to go and you, you want to work let's say general insurance companies are coming to our college so for gi sector you need consumer act you you need msct act so uh, these are the w workman compensation act these are the three uh, three things which you want to uh, uh no very well apart from this you need to go for cpc crpc ipc and evidence these are the areas but uh, in 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 anywhere in an lus law curriculum they don't teach that much they teach uh, consumer act in uh, four five or seven classes only workman yes, compensation sir, is also the workman compensation is also only involved regarding the workman compensation which is in the manufacturing sector and not not other sector not regarding the service service sector ha uh, Uh, they just define what workman is, and they evolve around that only. They don't go into depth. When we talk yeah, about right. the MSCT, the MSCT is not there. Like uh, for the uh, 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 if they in insurance law also when they teach insurance law, they teach about incorporation of LIC and GI sector. They don't go beyond it. Like they go. they go for uh, lic act and these things only but like how compensation is getting paid and how these things are happening how life insurance and general insurance are working here in india and what legal issues they are having right now and what do they need let's say if you know what irda is but irda cases are not predominantly here here in india in almost every district around more than 1000 cases are there in a uh, gi sector but if you go for to ird you would get uh, uh, at less than 5000 cases overall on ird so like uh, these are the, the areas if you if you want to go to uh, insurance sector if you want to go to banking sector then you need to learn a lot about surface and banking regulations act again there you need to go of crpc ipc evidence and cpc only no. only okay. these areas if you want to go to corporate then for corporate you need to learn contract act uh, uh intellectual property so in intellectual property you can like with some whole subject but uh, you can go for copyright trademark even if you would go for copyright and trademark that would be enough because going for patent is all together a different uh, area you would not be able to go into patent predominantly uh 
in litigation you need to know cpc crpc evidence because of, uh, all corporates do have litigation management work and uh, company laws companies laws and indian contract act indian contract act all basics needs to be covered 100% you cannot just leave one page and say it's been done and uh, in indian companies act however indian companies act company secretaries and chartered accountant are there who predominantly look into this area but uh, you are a part of legal team so you need to know each and everything the difference between a ca cs and a lawyer uh, a legal person is that a ca and cs they are bookkeepers they do whatever is written in indian company act but how to interpret those provisions is this right. is on us so we can just, we can we can like they those people can just advise the these are the forms these are the ways we, uh, which has to be filled and filed into mca but we can say you know like in our case this is not applicable and why so because we tell them that these are the uh, precedents and these are the cases where it has been done or these are the uh, uh, clauses where it is mentioned so also uh, we need to look over this i'm so sorry to interrupt so so basically you're um, actually sorry. emphasizing on the fact that uh, to focus on the law related subjects right the law related and the legal yes. subjects uh, other than the political or the management subjects that are taught with it right yes, yes. so that that i could derive out of uh, what you said uh, so uh, how would you say that a law firm and a legal in house counsel both both are very uh, very tiring and very exhaustive so how do you do you work uh, do you balance the work and the life ratio and how do you give time to yourself and stuff uh see there are a lot of people who say that there's a work life there should be work life balance or uh, professional life and uh, personal life uh, needs to be bifurcated because for the longer run but uh, there is no such concept of professional life personal life or this bifurcation if you are working at a place it means you are working at initial stage uh, you can say ki uh, i need some personal space i need like if if a job is for 8 hours then i'll work for 8 hours only i'll complete my job and go but but this would not land you anywhere True. at initial stage at initial stage you would earn less so for that for, like for, for, for uh, in lieu of that frustration of earning less people say ki we are fresher and people are not that mature enough so they act like this but if you are working hard towards your goals then uh, you would land somewhere you would get promoted you would get good salary good job good place but again this pressure would not be down this pressure would mount up only but but after 4 years or 5 years of working like this you would understand that there is nothing like personal space or professional space even if you are working even if you are at home you would open your laptop and you would prepare a draft or who you would prepare a draft or you would have a call at 10 at 10 pm so 10 pm is a personal space for you but if company needs it if this is urgent then you yes, are doing yes. you are taking it out mm-hmm. and if and and on uh, one more thing ki unless if you would, unless you would do something which is extra if you would do only tasks tasks which are been assigned to you then how would you learn more unless you would learn more how would you grow so promotion or promotion or uh, uh, salary increment are the things that uh, uh, does not happen like uh, spontaneously if you are working if you are working your boss uh, your boss job for 20% or 30% at least then you are bo- then you are all already promoted because company has nothing to do you do with you they will just promote your designation they will increase your salary and the job you are doing you will do continue that otherwise like you are you are only a legal counsel you are only managing the litigation you don't have any idea about uh, contract management so how comp- how would a company make you a legal counsel unless you do have a diversified experience and all exposure in probation uh, so how would uh, i would like to ask you how, how would you give general suggestions for the juniors um any general suggestions how to go about the law school thing which is equally exhaustive for us and uh, and so much mm-hmm. so much of all is going on uh, the study the 
the various events and the organizations the meets and of course you need to enjoy the college life as well so how do we balance all of that and uh, what what suggestions would you propose uh see uh, there's only one thing whatever you do do it sincerely like don't uh, don't till get on to something if you are studying if you are studying for two hours then study for two hours like focus keep your focus there don't don't study for the sake of studying only like nothing is going in mind but even though i am studying if nothing is going then i'll go out i'll i'll not study if i'll go out there because everyone is having 24 hours only so whatever you have to do do it sincerely don't lie to yourself at least like there are a lot of people lot of students you might <coughs> you might see they don't study at all they study at the time yes, of sir. the exam only and they, exam. they get good, good marks they, uh, because they don't lie to themselves they do study at, at the time of exams they read it they read carefully they understand it and they do it there are a lot of people who study for the semester but do not get marks because they are only like they for them understanding is not important their routine is more important they are spending every day 4 to 5 hours to study but they, they are not quality studying at that time so this is very much important you whatever you are doing you do it sincerely you do it if if uh, sincerity is not coming then don't do it leave it like if you won't study for uh, one week it won't make any issue so that's that's the huge suggestion that you would give ki kuch kuch bhi you are going into just give your heart to it and be in the moment and be sincere to it and thanks a lot sir for taking out your time and yes. giving to us thanks a lot sir and you've been uh, extremely generous with that so